The state's education commissioner says the pandemic is finally trending in the right direction, and that applies to schools as well. We're not really finding that we are having uh, the types of disruptions that we had in the beginning of this pandemic, even in the middle of this pandemic, and um, you know, over the last couple of months with the Omicron surge. A new rule will stop New Hampshire schools from moving to fully remote or hybrid learning due to COVID outbreaks. On Friday, final approval was given from the State Board of Education and Joint Committee of the Legislature to require in-person learning moving forward. There are some exceptions, like inclement weather, and parents can still request remote learning for their child. Any child in that district that wants to have in-person instruction, this rule would say that we need to afford those families the opportunity for in-person instruction. Teachers Union NEA New Hampshire is blasting the move, saying this decision flies in the face of common sense and the longstanding policy to provide local officials the flexibility they need in circumstances where COVID has spread in a school to the point where the only option left is to take a brief pause to arrest the spread and protect the students and community at large. Governor Chris Sununu expressing support for the new rule, saying in-person learning is where our students received the best education. Today's decision returns us to pre-COVID practices and ensures New Hampshire delivers the student experience our kids need and deserve. So yesterday, a bill that would have blocked the rule change failed in the state Senate. The House is considering a similar bill. Reporting live tonight, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.